सो इन टूडे इज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन वर आज डेन गेट आई एन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर पेपर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू ऑल दी क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू कैन ट्राई बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू लुक एट माई सोल्यूशन विथ ट्रिक्स एंड टेक्निक्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ स्क्रीन फ्रॉम ऑडो को रिलेशन इजी क्वेश्चन पॉज दी वीडियो ट्राई बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन गो टू दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन इजी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डी टी एफ टी पॉज दी वीडियो ट्राई गो टू दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डी एफ टी एफ एफ टी एंड देन वी हैव नाइक्विस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन देन दिस इज ऑल्सो नो ब्रेनर रीड दी क्वेश्चन मार्क दी आंसर नो नीड टू डू एनी कैलकुलेशन वेरी ईजी सिमिलर क्वेश्चन वी हैव सॉल्व इन दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर पेपर अर्ली ईयर एंड देन दिस इज ऑल्सो ईजी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लैपटस ट्रांसफॉर्म जस्ट यू हैव टू बी अवेयर विद दिस आर ओ सी अदरवाइज यू विल फेल इन दी ट्रैप नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो ईजी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डी एफ टी सो ओवरऑल दी पेपर वॉज ईजी फॉर सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम सेक्शन ओके जीरो टफ क्वेश्चन जीरो मॉडल लेवल क्वेश्चन जीरो आउट ऑफ सिलेबस क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वर ईजी लेट अस सी दी सोल्यूशन नाफ A discrete time sequence is given by x of n, which is equal to one, two, three, four. For n is greater than equal to zero, less than equal to three, the zero lag autocorrelation value of x of n is what? A, B, C, or D. The correct answer is option D. Why? Let us see. First of all, you have to understand what is zero lag autocorrelation value of x of n. This means value of x of n at n is equal to zero after doing the autocorrelation. understood okay let us see now first step auto correlation function is equal to x of n convert with x of minus n so auto correlation concept is asked twice in 2024 it becomes important now see carefully x of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 where the arrow is at the start therefore x of minus n would be what all this player will go to the left it's the mirror right so 4 3 2 1 and the arrow would be here right so if i do now my auto correlation using table it would look like this where x of n values i am writing here and x of minus n values i am writing here okay you can do vice versa also if you want answer remain same so 1 2 3 4 and then i have 4 3 2 1 now do the multiplication at this position we have 1 and 4 so 1 into 4 is 4 for this position we have 1 3 so 1 into 3 is 3 then 2 then 1 then 8 then 6 then 4 then 2 then 12 9 6 Three. Then we have sixteen, twelve, eight, four. Now what's next? What's next? All the elements in this area should be added. So only four is there. All the elements in this area should be added. So eight plus three. In this we have twelve plus six plus two, and then we have sixteen plus nine plus four plus one. Then we have twelve plus six plus two. Then we have eight plus three, and finally we have. Four. Okay. Therefore, I will say my auto correlation function has the value what four, then eight plus three, which is eleven, and then twelve plus six plus two, which is how much twenty, and then we have six plus nine plus four plus one, so ten plus twenty thirty. Similarly, next we have twelve plus six plus two, that comes out to be twenty. Then eight plus three, that comes out to be eleven, and then we have four. Okay, but uh, which is uh, the value of the amplitude at time zero? How do I know that? Some student might say four is the answer, or maybe something else. No, you have to now check this samples. Okay, so x of n, x of n gives us the idea of the upper value of the function at which time so 4 came at which time so for that we have to say here n is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 when time is 3 we got this 4 right so time 3 is the maximum time here n is 0 so if i go previous n is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so minimum time is minus 3 right so here i will say this is n is equal to 3 maximum time this is n is equal to minus 3 minimum time and center would be n is equal to 0 understood check it out 
so your correct answer is what now your correct answer is 30 this is the answer the value of the function when time is zero that is your zero lag auto correlation value of x of n understood why the answer is 30 okay let us go to the next question the next question is consider a filter defined by this difference equation where x of n y of n are input output respectively if the magnitude response of the filter at omega is equal to pi by 2 is a mod h of pi by 2 is 0 0.5 the value of a is a dash rounded off to two decimal places so be careful while writing the answer nevertheless now let us see the solution so the very first step is the difference equation the difference equation was y of n minus 0 0.5 y of n minus 2 that is equal to a into x of n minus 4 just recheck whether i have written correctly or not yes i have written correctly so now what's next what's next is i will do the z transform okay if i do the z transform then y of z minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 2 y of z that is equal to a into z to the power minus 4 x of z right so y of z can be taken common from the left hand side this is what is left inside the bracket and in the right hand side we have x of z and in the bracket we have a into z to the power minus 4 therefore i can say my h of z the transfer function is y of z by x of z which is equal to a z to the power minus 4 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 2 now remember that uh, here omega is used so dtft concept is used so what we'll do now what we'll do now is we will replace z with e to the power j omega okay so if i do that uh, z is e to the power j omega then we'll get our transfer function in terms of omega which is a into z is changed as e to the power j omega so this player would be e to the power minus 4 j omega denominator we have 1 minus 0 0.5 e to the power minus 2 j omega understood if understood then now what they are saying is mod of h of omega at omega is equal to pi by 2 is 0 0.5 so mod of this thing at omega is equal to what omega is equal to pi by 2 oh no we have to now add some free slides to comment on the answer now check it out I'm taking this player from here, copying here, and then saying that mod h of omega is what omega is pi by 2. In that case, the answer should be what? Answer should be 0 0.5. Therefore, using this expression now, change omega to pi by 2. If you do that, this is what you are going to get e to the power minus 2 j omega is changed as uh, pi by 2 right if that is the case now tell me what is the value of a from this expression sir the value of a if you need you have to see carefully that this is 2 1 za 2 2 za this this is cancelled now this player is what this player is numerator is a into e to the power minus uh, j to pi and then denominator is 1 minus half e to the power of minus j pi mod of the complete thing is equal to 0 0.5 so if you see carefully now what is the value of this thing and what is the value of this thing let me show you here that e to the power minus j to pi it is what e to the power minus j theta which is cos theta minus j sin theta so cos 2 pi minus j sin 2 pi this is 0 this is 1 so overall answer is what overall answer is 1 whereas what is the value of this player e to the power minus j pi it is equal to cos pi minus j sin pi so again sin pi is 0 cos pi is minus 1 now so understood understood the calculations which are necessary to solve it further if yes then we can say a into 1 divided by 1 minus half into minus 1 so more of that is equal to 0 0.5 okay let me take uh, one more slide to get our final answer okay so now do the copy paste from the previous to arrive at the final answer and here i can say that 
a by 1 plus half that is equal to half which is now how much a is equal to here I can say it is coming out as 2 plus 1 3 by 2 so half is uh, multiplied with 3 by 2 which is 3 by 4 which is 0 0.75 so the correct answer is 0 0.75 correct up to two decimal places so yes that is the correct answer understood how to solve so it was a good question not uh, very much tough only a little bit of calculative that's all let us go to the next question question number 25 the number of complex multiplications required for computing a 16 point dft using the decimation in time dit fft radix 2 dash okay so answer they need in integer very simple question direct formula based question it is c they need what they need a number of multiplication operator number of multiplication operator in dit fft the formula is n by 2 log to the base 2 of n so n here is how much n here is 16 a point dft so n is 16 so 16 by 2 log to the base 2 of 16 so this is 8 log to the base 2 and 16 can be said as 2 to the power 4 so 4 can be taken outside and then we have log 2 to the base 2 which is 1 so 8 into 4 is finally 32 which is correct understood let us go to the next question the nyquist sampling frequency for x of t is 10 sine square 200 pi t is dash 